Today we'll be visiting Pulau Ketam or Crab Island. This is a small fishing village and an important tourist destination. One way is to get to the Port Klang KTM commuter station and head to the Pulau Ketam jetty in Port Klang. Check out the tickets for ferry to Pulau Ketam. Normal AC ferry costs 9 ringgits. The better Alibaba ferry costs 10 ringgits, one way trip. The Alibaba ferry is recommended. There are more ferries on weekends. Last ferry comes back from Pulau Ketam to Klang at 5.30 pm. You can sit around the jetty to wait for speedboats as well. Around the jetty, there are a few shops, but there are also shops in Pulau Ketam, so you do not need to buy everything here. 15 minutes before the ferry starts, take the jetty walkway and go towards the pier. Ferry starts exactly on time. Check out the views when you walk to the ferry boat. This is a good place for photography as well. The pier is on a floating area, so it will be moving. Be a bit careful when walking. This is a great place to take photos of the surrounding pier and also the ferry itself. Around the area, you can see plenty of fishing boats and also the green mangroves in the distance. This is the normal ferry. The ticket price is 9 ringgits for a single journey. The boat has air conditioning and only inside seats are available. Best to just sit by the window to get a better view. There is a toilet at the end of the ferry and the trip takes about 40 minutes. The journey starts as the ferry leaves the Port Klang jetty. This is a good place to see the larger boats or fishing vessels. The boat will be slow at first because the area is a busy place. As the boat backs off and it starts to pick up speed, you can see the water making waves. In the distance, you can see many different boats. As you travel, look out for the North Port Container Ship Terminal. It's a nice view through the window. So sit on the right hand side of the boat. Soon the ferry will go through Pulau Klang and you can see mangrove trees on both sides. At about 35 minutes, we will soon reach Pulau Ketam you will start seeing houses on stilts and walkways with more small boats. Double check your belongings before you leave the ferry. So here, we have just arrived at Pulau Ketam. Carefully climb up to the Pulau Ketam jetty. It is usually quite busy. Climb up, you can see some shops around the jetty. You can rent a bicycle, which is about 8 ringgits per day, or an electric bicycle, which could cost 15 to 20 ringgits per hour. They will just collect an extra deposit. There will be many shops around the island, so don't worry too much about water or food. This is a view from the Pulau Ketam jetty. Check out the walkway to the Pulau Ketam through the walkway. Pay attention to electric motorcycles as they do not make much sound. On both sides of the walkway, you can see different houses, shops, boat piers and more.
when you reach the main platform entrance to Pulau Ketam, it's also a good place to take a photo with the big Pulau Ketam signboard. In the afternoon, it's really warm, so we should go explore the main town first and then get a cycle to move around far further. If you need to do shopping, the best suggestion is to do it at the end before you leave. Walk and explore the main town near the jetty. There are lots of shops here for seafood, for snacks, souvenirs and more. The Sea Lion Hotel is a popular place to stay very near the jetty or check out the many homestays around the island if you are planning to stay overnight. As we enter, the yellow building is the Volunteer Fire Brigade in Pulau Ketam. We keep walking towards the town center. An important location to remember will be the police station. From here, the road splits into two. Go left for the shops, go right for the village. Here, we are making a left turn to check out foods and shops. There are many restaurants along this road. We went to the Chuan Hian coffee shop. We ordered drinks, a small fried omelette with lala shellfish, uh, which cost about six ringgits, and the oyster omelette is ten ringgits for small. After lunch, we walked around the shops in the town center. There are plenty of food shops, sundry shops, uh, fruits, souvenirs, and more. Keep walking through the road and chat with the locals here. Many are Chinese Hokkien people. The main shop road is not very long, but there are many other roads like this. We keep walking and explore the shops. Towards the end of that road, you will come to a Chinese temple. This is the Mendi Buddha Temple. Explore around the small lanes beside the temple. This is the area behind the temple. Enjoy the views of the houses on stilts. Occasionally, you can see small boats pass by. Here also you can see the normal life of all the people that live here. Head back towards the police station and take the other road which we will head towards the town. Along this road, we will start exploring the houses. Here we are passing the East Street village section. Each house is built on stilts and some have their own boat pier. One thing to remember is not to walk on wooden planks. It is not safe. We got warned by the local people to be careful. We checked out many houses beside the river and watched the boats around. And of course, we try not to disturb the house owners. This is life in a village with no cars. Moving items take a lot of effort. All around the houses, we find sea life. Here are some mudskipper fish. 
Then we walked and came to the Baosheng Palace Temple. It's a beautiful temple in the heart of Pulau Ketam. We kept exploring around the local houses. Around the area, there are many homestays. You can check online or you can actually walk and explore and inquire around. We stopped at a river pier and just rested here to enjoy the place. It is interesting to see the lives of people who depend on the sea. Very peaceful. We got to experience a local boat docking at the pier to transport goods. We just watched them on their daily life. This is the boat now trying to dock onto the pier. It is almost the evening time and we slowly walk back to the main jetty. We need to get back at least 15 to 20 minutes before the ferry timing. Along the way, we check out dried seafood shops. Prices here are a little cheaper with better quality than the mainland. Locals here are quite friendly and helpful. So if you have any questions, do feel free to inquire. We came back to the Pulau Ketam village jetty. The last opportunity to take more photos around the area and again arrive 15 to 20 minutes earlier before the ferry time. We took a slow walk back to the jetty and took photos around the walk path. Our uh, ferry heading back is the Alibaba ferry. This is the recommended ferry at 10 ringgits per trip. The lower deck is air conditioned but there's also a upper area to sit for a better view. We boarded and moved towards the rear to climb up to the upper deck open air seats. This upper area is a great place to sit and feel the fresh air when the boat starts. We are now leaving Pulau Ketam and heading back to Port Klang. This is the final 5.30pm ferry. If you miss this ferry, you probably need to hire a boat or stay over at Pulau Ketam. Enjoy the ride as the boat cruises through Pulau Klang mangrove forest. This is also during the time when the sun starts to set. Walking around to take photos is permitted but be careful. Check out views on all sides from the upper deck. It's definitely a great place to sit, especially when the boat picks up speed and we were just enjoying the strong wind, the peaceful sound of water and the wonderful views. Pulau Klang is a large island with mangroves all around. 
it took a bit of time going through this area a turn around the path in Pulau Klangkari gives a nice view of the mangrove forest here you can see local wildlife and birds Check out the views of the clouds in the distance. We kept going and passed by some other boats and ferries. Towards the evening, the sun began to set and also a great time for taking evening sunset photos. We are nearby now. As we cruise by North Port, container terminal, we get to see many container ships around. These ships are huge and it's an opportunity to just experience them. The sun is starting to set. It's now just after 6 p.m. And we finally reached Port Klang Jetty. And the ferry docked back at the pier. Be careful as you disembark the ferry. Remember that the jetty is a floating platform. Time to get off. We felt happy and had a wonderful day spent at Pulau Ketam. To visit Pulau Ketam, definitely come earlier in the morning so you have more time to explore the island. If you feel like you need to stay overnight, there are plenty of homestays there. Remember that if you come by car, parking of pay, payment of parking is needed or just take the KTM commuter train. The Port Klang train station is opposite the jetty. Definitely come visit Pulau Ketam or Crab Island.